And the second generalization is where you have one objective function, but you have multiple constraints now. There are M constraints. There are M constraints. So fundamentally speaking, this is the same only. Aisa kuch alag nahi kar rahe humne, humne. It, it's the same only. It's just that now I will have M lambdas. Har ek constraint ke liye ek lambda. So for each lambda, I will have to differentiate the function once. So because there will be M lambdas, there will be M Lagrange multipliers. Matlab lambda ko hi Lagrange multiplier bolte hai. So there are going to be M Lagrange multipliers. Just have a look here, huh, beta? So you have your L here and I'm saying this is my objective function minus lambda 1. This is constraint 1 minus lambda 2. This is constraint 2 and so on till lambda M. This is constraint M. So I have my uh, objective function and then I have my M constraints. So what do you do? Pehle you will differentiate with respect to all these XIs. So there are n xi's, har ek xi ke differentiate karoge. And beta, then you have m constraints, to har ek m lambda ke liye bar differentiate karoge. So you will differentiate with these n xi's and you will differentiate with m lambdas. So in total you will have n plus m equations, clear to you With each xi, there are n xi's. With each lambda, there are m lambdas, you will differentiate and you will get n plus m equations. Bas, that's it. That's the only difference you will have. Let me show that to you now. So in order to show that what we have done is, this is my objective function. And now I have two constraints. Hamita. So note that this objective function itself is three variable. Right? And then I have two constraints. So, beta, I am writing my objective function as it is minus lambda 1. Then I have written constraint 1 here minus lambda 2. Then I have written constraint 2 here. Clear over, beta? Differentiate this with respect to x. So, when you will differentiate it with respect to x, kya milega yaha se, beta? 2x minus lambda 1, x ka differentiation 1, minus lambda 2, x ka differentiation 2 equal to 0. So from this equation, I will get 2x is equal to lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2. Now, beta, I will differentiate this with respect to y. So is ka differentiation ho jayega 2y minus lambda 1. 2y ka differentiation ho gaya 2 minus lambda 2. y ka differentiation ho gaya 1. Minus 1, beta, minus 1. So from here, you will get 2y is equal to 2 lambda 1 minus lambda 2. Clear away bad beta. Then the third one that you have is with respect to z. So when you will respect to z, it will be 2z. Beta yaha se aajayega minus lambda 1 into minus 1. Yaha se aajayega minus lambda 2 into minus 3 equal to 0. So what will you get? 2z is equal to minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 into 3 minus lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 but then you will differentiate with respect to lambda 1 also to usse uska constraint hi aa so you will just get this constraint then you will differentiate with respect to lambda 2 it will just give you this constraint so you will get the next constraint so if you see, you have five equations. Equation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in five variables. X, Y, Z, lambda 1, lambda 2. So you have five equations in five variables. This may say there were three X's and there were two lambdas. So N was 3, M was 2. So there are N plus M. That means five equations. Okay, beta. Ab bas inko simultaneously solve karna. You just have to solve them simultaneously. So there are multiple ways to solve them simultaneously. You can go ahead and you can. Uh, so if you see this equation is in x, y, z. Na, 
तो यहां से वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू नीड टू सम हाउ एलिमिनेट लैमडास एंड गेट लैमडास इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड और ऑल्टरनेटिवली यू कैन गेट एक्स वाई जेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ लैमडास ठीक है क्लियर हुई बात बेटा सो जैसे यहां से यू हैव x प्लस टू वाई माइनस जेड इज इक्वल टू वन सो बेटे फ्रॉम हियर यू नो x इज लैमडा वन प्लस टू लैमडा टू बाई टू सो x की जगह पे यू कैन राइट लैमडा वन प्लस टू लैमडा टू बाय टू बेटा y विल बी वॉट टू लैमडा वन माइनस लैमडा टू बाय टू सो y विल बी वॉट टू लैमडा वन माइनस लैमडा टू बाय टू एम बेटा z इज वॉट माइनस लैमडा वन माइनस थ्री लैमडा टू बाय टू सो z इज वॉट माइनस लैमडा वन माइनस थ्री लैमडा टू बाय टू इक्वल टू वन सो यू सी नाउ माई इंटायर इक्वेजन दैट आई हैव गॉट दैट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ लैमडास लैमडा वन एंड लैमडा टू सो नाउ यू कैन जस्ट सॉल्व दिस दिस विल बी बेटा लैमडा वन प्लस टू लैमडा टू प्लस फोर लैमडा वन माइनस टू लैमडा टू प्लस लैमडा वन प्लस थ्री लैमडा टू बाय टू इज इक्वल टू सो बेटा लैमडा वन प्लस फोर लैमडा वन हो गया फाइव लैमडा प्लस वन प्लस वन लैमडा वन हो गया सिक्स लैमडा वन टू लैमडा टू माइनस टू लैमडा टू विल कैंसिल आउट सो यू विल जस्ट हैव प्लस थ्री लैमडा टू and two will go here is equal to 2 clear we baat this is equation number 1 like that only the second equation you will get from here so 2x minus y minus 3z is 4 so you have 2x minus y minus 3z that is 4 so beta x y z ko fir se you can just put these values so instead of x you can just put this lambda 1 Plus two lambda two upon two. Instead of y, you can go ahead and you can put the next value. So y is this two lambda one. Y is two lambda one minus lambda two by two. And then, beta, you can just put instead of z this value. So z ki jagah pe you can just go ahead and put minus lambda one minus three lambda two upon two. Equal to four. Clear हुआ बेटा? So you will have two lambda one plus four lambda two minus two lambda one plus lambda two plus three lambda one plus nine lambda two is equal to eight. Two has gone on the other side. So two lambda one minus two lambda one will cancel out. Uh, so you will be left up with three lambda one from here. Four plus one is five plus nine is fourteen. Plus fourteen lambda two is equal to eight. Now you see, I have just found out one equation in terms of lambda one, lambda two here, and another equation in terms of lambda one, lambda two here. So now I have two equations in terms of lambda one and lambda two. But you can solve them simultaneously now for lambda one and lambda two. And once you get the lambda one, huh? And once you get lambda one and lambda two, you can put them back. To get x, y, and z, so it's a little tedious process, but you shall be able to go ahead and solve it. Clear हो ये बात बेटा? Okay, so after solving, you shall be able to get this. I have just solved those for you, हाँ? ये दो equations को solve करो, you will get the answer.